In this session, we are going to solve one problem on disk and this question came in the year 2011 get. So, let me read the problem at first. If the overhead for formatting a disk is 96 bytes for a 4000 bytes sector. So, one important information I have got that is that sector size is 400, 4000 bytes. So, now that is one word is there that is the overhead of 96 bytes. So, out of this 4000 bytes sector size, 96 bytes of overhead will be there if the disk is formatted. Formatting of a disk means we are imposing coordinate system on the disk surface. Coordinate system means we are defining tracks and sectors on the disk surface. So, in between tracks and in between sectors, there will be some gaps and due to the presence of that, some disk space will be wasted. So, always the formatted capacity of a disk will be lesser than the unformatted capacity of a disk. And this is the overhead mean, this is the space which will not be used after doing the formatting per sector. So, in the rest part of the problem, if the problem is on unformatted capacity related type of problems, then I should not consider this one. But if it is formatted related type of questions, then I should consider this particular value. So, how to uh, tackle the situation? So, let me read the problem. This problem has got two parts A and B. Compute the unformatted capacity. So, mind it. Compute the unformatted capacity of the disk for the following parameters. So, I shall have to calculate the unformatted capacity of the disk. And they are number of surfaces given, outer diameter of the disk, inner diameter of the disk, inner track space and number of sectors per track. So, all these things have got given. So, I should do in this way. So, this is my outermost track say and this is my innermost track, innermost track. So, innermost track, this having the diameter 4 centimeter. And outermost track is having the diameter 8 centimeter. So, innermost track is having diameter 4 centimeter and outermost track is having diameter 8 centimeter. So, I am having this 8 centimeter minus 4 centimeter by 2. So, that will be 4 centimeter outer diameter is 12 centimeter. So, I am writing this one 12. Okay, so 12, 12 minus 4, so that will be my 8 centimeter by 2 will be the calculation, so that will be 4 centimeter. So, 4 centimeter will be the respective length of this where my tracks are residing. Okay, so 12 centimeter outermost diameter, 4 centimeter innermost diameter, so I am just subtracting it, so I am getting this particular space by 2. So, I am getting 4 centimeter as my uh, space, the track, all the tracks will take that amount of width. Okay. So, let me do the problem solve in this way. So, I am going for outer dia minus inner. From the problem, it is given that inner track space is 0.1 millimeter. So, So, from there we are getting this idea that the number of tracks will be 400 because I am doing a very simple mathematics that is 8 centimeter by 2 by 0.1 millimeter. So, that will be 400 number of tracks on the disk surface. So, already is it is given that we are having number of sectors per track is equal to 20. So, this is the number of tracks and this is the number of uh, sectors per track. So, we will be having this number of sectors per surface. So, I am sector per surface. Okay. So, now let me calculate the unformatted capacity of the disk. So, the unformatted capacity of the disk will be 8 into 8000 into 4000. So, in this way I can calculate the unformatted capacity of the disk. So, here it will be 8000. Okay. So, now in this way I am getting this total idea because we are having 4000 number of sectors. So, that is my number of sectors 
and here we are getting the so total capacity in sectors will be this 8000 into 8 so that is my that is I am getting this particular 8 because it is given that number of surfaces is equal to 8 so that is my surface number. So in this way I am getting this particular answer so if you go on doing this one it will be uh, 256 MB. In this way I have solved my section A 256 MB. So let me check 256 MB is the option number A. So that will be coming in this way. Now I shall solve the section B. So now we are going for the second part that is the B. So in this way I have computed the first one. In the B what they have been asked? They have asked us that if the disc in A is rotating at 360 revolutions per minute RPM, determine the effective data transfer rate which is defined as the number of byte transfer per second between the disc and the memory. So they are trying to calculate the data transfer rate. Okay, so now I am going to calculate this one. So in the part B, we are having 360 uh, rotations in per minute, that means in 60 seconds. So So, 360 rotations in 60 second. So, one rotation will take our 60 by 360. So, it will be it will be taking as 1 by 6 second. In 1 by 6 second, we will transfer 20 into 4000 bytes because there are 4000 bytes per sector and we are having number of sectors per track is equal to 20. So, 20 into 4000 bytes will be transferred in the in 1 by 6 seconds. So, so in this way I am getting this so 20 into 4000 into 6. So, that will be the total space. You see in this particular in this particular computation we are having this 360 revolutions per minute. So, this 360 revolutions part 60 seconds. So, one revolution will take 1 by 6 second. In 1 by 6 second, it will transfer 20 into 4000. So, 20 means this one is 20 and 4000 is coming from here. So, 4000 is coming from here. So, in this way, I am getting this 20 into 4000. So, that is in 1 by 6 second. So, in 1 second, so it will be multiplied by 6. So, I am getting this 480 kilobyte per second. So, that will be 480 kilobytes per second. So, in this way, the problem has been answered. So, these sort of questions are very common. So, try to solve them with all these details and all. So, for your better understanding, let me just revise the solution once again. Outer diameter minus inner diameter given there 12 minus 4 is equal to 8 centimeter. So, inner track space given there that is 0 0.1 millimeter, everything is given 0 0.1 millimeter. So, the number of tracks will be 8 centimeter by 2. I told you 8 centimeter by 2 will be this particular space, and inner space between the tracks will be this. So, 400 number of tracks will be on the disk surface. So, the capacity will be 400 number of tracks, tracks into 20. So, 20 will be the number of sectors per track. So, that will be the this number of sectors on the disk surface. So, to get the total unformatted capacity. This is my surface number, this is the number of sectors per surface and there is the sector size. So, if you go on doing that is the answer. Next one, 360 rotations in 60 seconds. So, one rotation will take 1 by 6 seconds. In 1.6 seconds, it will transfer 20 sectors per track, 4000 bytes per sector. So, this amount of in 1 by 6 seconds. So, for once within 1 second. So, it will transfer into 6. So, I am getting this 480 kb per, per second. So, in this way, the problems can be solved. Thanks for watching this video.